Where have you gone? Oh shit! Stop drinking drinks! Act 2, Scene 3. What a wonderful world. You know I found Paula in a dumpster, right? What? You said you met her at the supermarket! I did. It was the bin out behind the dime a dozen. And you just picked her up out of the rubbish and brought her home? Why not? Sometimes I think I hardly know you. I don't know, but we've got company, as in lots of. Well, if they pull up a chair, I would be happy to. Let's give this guy a go. Yeah, you don't like the light, do you? Hello! Sake? Okay, have all these diamonds. Oh, it's just a bit weird finding Paul in the di in there, uh, finding someone in a dumpster. Oh, thanks for the um, save point. I've got a book here. The man who never had his fill. The man who never had his fill. It was a cold and snowy eve. Certainly no night for a man without a home to be walking these grey and endless streets. Inside the pizza parlour, George Reed spun a lively tune on his harmonica. The local children giggled and pointed excitedly at the harmonica man as their parents glowed with approval. His reward would be all the pizza he could eat, six pies at least, and a warm bed in one of these folks' homes. He knew they were good for it. But when he tucked in for the night, George had not had his fill. As the years and calories stacked up, most men would have got older and fatter. Yet for all he consumed, George only got thinner as he washed from town to town. Tapeworm. Tonight he plied his trade with some grannies and orderlies in a nursing home. Hoo -ha! His harmonica filled the room with joy. After devouring three helpings of pork chops and mashed potatoes, he eyed the plate of the old woman next to him. Juice dribbled down his chin. Go ahead, Georgie, she said. You're such a good boy, you shouldn't have to starve. But George had not had his fill. Early the next morning, he was already on the freeway with his thumb in the air. Where are you headed? said the man in the truck. Nowhere, said George. Anywhere. It was a new decade, and tonight George played to an all but empty bar in the city. He had lost a lot of weight. Afterwards, the only woman in the joint took the stool next to him and asked him his name. The bartender leaned over the counter. You don't know this guy, Mary. George is famous, being all over the tri-state area. With a wink, he added, man's insatiable. And that night, George proved it as he buried his face in Mary's beaver. Holy woodland creatures! Had a boy, George! Had a boy, George! 
play that harmonica, she purred. But even after five trips to heaven and back, he had not had his fill. The morning after was an awkward affair as they stared at each other over coffee. One wanted to feel more, the other just wanted to feel. In his final days, George was all skin and bones. I can relate, except for the skin part. His last meal had been a mistake. It was on a sidewalk one night in a small suburban town that he came across the boy. Hungrily and with an agonized grimace, he opened his mouth to beg for help. Out came a cacophony of wheezes and toots, but the boy understood. Wait, you mean Jorge ate his harmonica? Once he was alone, George Reed looked at the candy bar he held in one hand and began to cry. <laughs> They found George's half-eaten body in a market next town over. In one hand, he held a knife. In the other, a fork. Chunks of flesh had been torn from his chest and his arms. Blood framed an eerie smile. The wind that morning blew fierce, and as it whistled through the hole he'd carved out of his own neck, the harmonica man played his last song in this world. There were gawkers, and many knew him. They shared stories of how he'd filled them with hope, filled them with life. They, at least, had had their fill. <clears throat> especially Mary. <laughs> the yeah, end. definitely. Especially Mary. Alright. So that's the backstory to the Harmonica Man we just defeated. Which is quite a nice little addition. I hear chewing, so there's going to be a goat nearby. There you are. That cheeky him! He doused our goat! Then let's put out some lights of our own. Dumbasses, are they? Is. Would you kindly bust a cap in those mother fudges before they douse the lights? Whoa, okay. There's a bit of fierceness to you. Oh, wow. You know, we never finished talking about you kidnapping Paula. I didn't kidnap her. You hauled her out of a skin. Isn't that illegal in some states? What did she say? Nothing. Not for weeks. I was afraid to even touch her, you know. Oh, she belong to me. To anyone. But something changed. There was a phone call. Yes. Go on. I guess this is gonna go over a couple of parts of the, of the game, to be honest. I'd rather you tell me the whole story now. Oop. Thank you. Um, speaking of phones, put that on hold, G. We've got company. Oh wow. <laughs> I 
Okay, got this all over again, but hey. Put that on hold, G. We've got company. Way too easy. this about a phone call me and paula were eating when the phone rang suddenly she slams her fork down and says don't answer it creepy first thing she ever said to me but i got up to take the call johnson you should have seen her she jumped out of her chair ran to the phone and ripped it right off the wall whoa then she came and put her arms around me and started crying it was the craziest weirdest Sexiest thing I have ever seen. I have been hers ever since. Go on, try. I should have been to get down. Uh, back into the courtyard. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um. Oh, stop drinking your drinks. Right, through here, pick up the strawberry, we can go back on ourselves. Through here, and we should be able to Open that door here now. <laughs> Lots of gems. Although I don't really use them for anything though. No, I don't really have really bought any like sake or anything so. Unless we're gonna have a point in a little bit. Let's have a look at this again. What? Demons don't like teeth? The gun laws here are very strict. Haven't you wondered why they don't shoot back? You and I are violating almost every rule in the book. Heck, I'm practically made of teeth. So yeah, I'm still definitely enjoying this. This is a really enjoyable game. It's going a bit quiet now on the um, on the fun side of things. Just kind of double check around again. Here's that red gem I picked up earlier on. Let's use that again on 
<sighs> Faster recharge on my boner. Expecting any phone calls? No, sirree. Maybe it's from Paula. Or at least someone with answers. Oh, it's Paula. Dios mio. Paula, is that you? When will this fucking torture end? <laughs> From hottie to hamburger, just like <laughs> Wow. Hottie to ham. <laughs> wow, that's disgusting and funny at the same time. We could use these to chase away the darkness, at least in short bursts. Just look at them. Fiery sprinkles in a great big chocolatey sky. Johnson, shut up. Right, where do I go? That's a good question. Where do I go? Ah, oh, through here. Magnifico. Jump into there. Always this fucking darkness. Right, we're taking out really quickly now. Let's give you the eyeball. And we're dark again. I can get through this door. It's gonna be annoying. Okay, I actually got rid of the darkness as well, so that's not too bad. Um, oh, got little flowers and stuff going down. Wow. What the shit is that? Me. Let's take a closer look. Really? 
Well, hi ho Name's Christopher. Now, don't y'all be afraid. I ain't gonna bite. Trust me. You see, I'm what you call a mixture of beast and human. Oh, best of both worlds, my pappy said. Hey, but what are you doing around these parts? Ain't you immortal? Why should I tell you? All I see is demon. Well, shucks. You gotta look underneath the leathery exterior. Deep down, I am a sensitive and understanding listener. Some asswipe named Fleming stole my girl and took her to his castle. I am here to take her back. Meaning you are on a quest to kick the Prince of Evil's ass? Holy shit! <laughs> oh, I want in on some of this action. How can I help, huh? How can I? Well, I hope that you're offering more than just enthusiasm. I tell you what. I get pretty hungry, and I just love her of them white gems. <laughs> you get enough of those, and we can trade. With the right incentive, I might even be able to introduce you to some real product. Know what I mean? <laughs> Magnifico. Okay, then chuck them sparklies right down the hatch. <laughs> Go on, feed me! Ah! <laughs> I like you, Christopher. Howdy ho, if it ain't my bestest buddies. I'm surprised Christopher hasn't had a visit from the GEA. Mm, you read about gem bus all the time. Because <laughs> he's got red gems, wow. <coughs> okay, now buy a red gem. Because that's all I'm going to spend that money on. Because I don't need any drinks, really. There you go. Yeah. Y'all take care now. Let's use our gem for the capacity. Right, and hopefully we just keep on going. No good dump there to save. Hold quite a lot more in, in around now. What the fuck is that? Every single corner oh, I turn. What's this? Sushi with a dick? These guys may look ugly, but they're actually quite useful. Are they friendly? Yes, I kept one as a pet. Hit them with light, and they'll keep you safe. Okay. It's a sushi lamp. Okay. Oh, come back. I was trying to kill you all. I like your music. Music's cool. Is that it? You've led me as far as you I can go. Well, while you're there, you can just feast that. Nice big turd. A cemetery. Really? I had no idea. No, there isn't. No need to get sniffy. It's just this wasn't here before. Since when do demons get buried? Since I came to town. Oh, wow. Really? You've literally got a burial site for... Okay. Whoa! Who did this? Mr. X! Only a demon hunter could kill this many. And not be lying dead next to them. Oh, we got a competition then. Paula and I promised we would be buried together. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Any suggestions? Aim for the head! Not that you really have a choice. Shoot the red spots! Imbecile! Oh no! <laughs> of 
got to be in the darkness for a bit too long. I still like his paper cutout sort of puppet. That is amazing. I kind of like the stop animation thing of it. Let's just get the TV out and make this short work, shall we? Shoot the red spots! Wow! Really? Right, back to the shotgun. Cause I took him out a lot quicker with the shotgun. Shoot the red spots. That's better. My life is tight. There we go. Alright, back to the T. Let's go back to the boner. For a bit. This is the last one to hear. Just gonna double check if there was anything else around here. Except for T or bullets. Doesn't look like it, so. Through to the next section. Oh wow! No, I don't want to buy anything from there. I've uh, got a tower to go up into as it looks of it. Okay, let's get in the tower then. Come on. There we go. Okay. Darkness. Where is a god when you need one? Okay, okay. Crazy idea, G. What if we use that chandelier? <laughs> This is really hard. There we go. That pushes it back a little bit. So I just gotta grab all the gems as I go up. So technically just do circles of the room. Too hard.
Let's get you. Crystal's a bit phallic. <laughs> You're one to talk. You're very phallic. You're just a head. You see? Chandelier! Brilliant idea! For one you pulled out of your ass. Wrong. I don't have an ass. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you don't. You're not lying there. Put some more health on. Ooh, it's good. Right, let's get on 